so hello everyone uh, welcome to this new video so in the previous video i have started with the norton's theorem and i have discussed the norton's theorem in brief that is the replica of theorem's theorem only last step only would be getting changed okay and uh, very easy if you understand theorem's theorem very carefully you can understand this norton's theorem also so in the last session we have started with that and we have solved one problem and in this session we are going to continue with the problem solely of norton's theorem we have uh, two two problems in this session we are which we are going to solve it quickly very easy problems okay let us start with that before that those who have not seen my previous videos please see those videos okay then like this video and then watch start watching this so this is the second question here that is determine norton's equivalent circuit across the terminals a and b okay you can consider this a b here only okay they here in the question they have given it here in the middle of these two but you can consider it here only okay or uh, sorry sir not here here in the network also determine the current in this 5 ohm resistor they have also told us to determine the current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor and draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit okay they have also they have told us to draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit in this case which is very easy because when once we get the norton circuit at the end what we should doing is we should be con converting that norton's current into equivalent thevenin's voltage that is the impedance would be uh, shifted from parallel to series okay that's one change so we can write it very easily for that we should be uh, finding the norton circuit so that is we should be calculating the in for norton's theorem the procedure is first thing is calculation of norton's current right in for that what's the step i've told this resistance we should be removing and we should be making the short circuit that is rewrite the circuit again this is the dependent source this is current controlled voltage source this current is controlling this voltage source okay and here it is controlling through this 6 ohm resistor and here now i am replacing this resistor by a short circuit according to the rule this is 20 volt 4 ohm and this is now in this branch the norton's current is passing okay so in this way i have written the circuit here but if you observe here very carefully these two are in parallel right but here we don't have any resistance so that is if we do the parallel circuit and do the equivalent circuit part what we would be getting is 0 into 6 divided by 0 plus 6 that is 0 into 6 is 0 0 and divide by 6 that is again 0 so we would be getting 0 this whole part would be getting 0 right so what we can do is we can directly write ix is equal to 0 because since we don't have any equivalent resistor here in this branch and if we do the equivalent resistance part that is just now I've told you by taking the parallel resistances we would be getting this complete these two branch as zero so our ix current here is flowing through 6 ohm resistor but the 6 ohm, 6 ohm resistor vanishes because of this condition because here we don't have any resistor okay so that's why this value would be equal to zero and whenever this is zero this whole block that is 6 into ix would be getting vanished because ix equal to zero right so that's why our uh, reduced circuit would be looking like this 4 ohm this would be gone these two would be gone we would be left with only this in and this 20 volt source and in now we can say that these two are in series we can directly find the norton's current in that is v by r 20 by 4 that is in is equal to 5 ampere 20 by 4 is 5 right so like this we have found the Norton's current very easily okay this procedure you should be knowing very well if you don't understand this then you would be doing some mistake and you would be solving a lengthy procedure this is the simple procedure okay now next step is calculation of z equivalent so how to do z equivalent z equivalent formula here is again since we have one dependent source that is uh, current control voltage source so our formula would be voc divided by in right this so this would be our formula we have already found in our goal is to find now voc open circuit voltage so now what we should be considering considering this circuit only now okay in this what we should be doing is replace this whole branch now as we have done for uh, Thevenin circuit right you should be applying that because we are, our goal here is to find the open circuit voltage or the Thevenin voltage we know that VTH is equal to VOC right we have already discussed in Thevenin theorem this condition so that's like apply Thevenin theorem uh, solution for this uh, circuit now in order to find VOC that is 4 ohm 
डिपेंडेंट सोर्स वो शुड नॉट बी टचिंग इट ट्वेंटी वोल्ट देन वी हैव सिक्स ओम दिस इज सिक्स आई एक्स आई एक्स सिक्स ओम ट्वेंटी वोल्ट एंड दैट लोड इम्पेडेंस यू शुड बी रिमूविंग एंड शुड बी नेमिंग इट एस वी टी एच वोल्टेज और वी ओ सी वोल्टेज ओके एंड दिस इज द करेंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस लूप दैट इज आई एक्स करेंट ओके सिंस इट इज आई एक्स इयर्स आई रिटर्न डायरेक्टली एज आई एक्स करेंट नाउ नथिंग मच टू डू राइट वी ओ सी दैट इज ट्रेस दिस वी ओ सी फ्रॉम हियर इफ यू ट्रेस दिस यू बी गेटिंग डायरेक्टली एज सिंस दिस इज सिक्स ऑपोजिट फ्लो ऑफ करेंट इफ यू चेक इट फ्रॉम डाउनवर्ड एंड अपवर्ड यू बी डायरेक्टली गेटिंग इट एज सिक्स इन टू आई एक्स आवर वी ओ सी ओके we have got one this one equation now our goal is to find this ix current for that we should be applying loop condition in this loop that is start from 20 here that is 20 then we have this 4 ohm resistor that is minus 4 ix then we have the dependent source that is plus 6 ix okay then we have minus 6 ix right that is equal to 0 Right. See, I've written it by doing the loop analysis. That is plus twenty outward sign. I've started from here. Minus four into i x plus six into i x and minus six into i x. Okay. Hope this is clear. Like that, I've written this equation for the i x loop using a mesh analysis part. K V L. Now plus six and minus six would be getting cancelled. We would be left with twenty minus four i x equal to zero. That is twenty equal to four i x. So i x would be equal to Twenty by four, four ones are four fives are, so I X would be equal to five ampere. Okay, so now we have found this I X is called five ampere. Substitute this in this equation in order to get the V O C open circuit voltage, since it is five into I X, so V O C would be equal to five into five. So our open circuit voltage V O C would be equal to twenty five volt. Okay, so we have found V O C as well as I N. Now substitute those values in the Z equivalent formula. VOC by IN, that is 25 divided by IN, that is Norton's current. We have got it as 5 ampere. So 5 ones are 5 fives are. So Z equivalent would be equal to 5 ohms. Okay. Hope this is clear. Now Norton circuit, Norton's equivalent circuit. That is the Norton's current 5 ampere, and the parallel Z equivalent impedance that is 5 ohm. Along with that, oh, I've made one mistake here. This is six i x, right? I've taken it here as five i x. So sorry. This is six i x here. So six five are. This would be thirty volt, and here this would be thirty and five six are. So this would be six ohms. Okay. Please make that correction. I was in a hurry, so that's why. So sorry for that. Here it is six i x right. So I have written here it has five i x and I was solving. This would be thirty volt. Thirty by five is six ohms. Okay, so this would be six ohms here. Okay. After that the load impedance whatever we have taken that is five ohm. Now find the equivalent current that is I is equal to current through this five ohm resistor. So what we should be doing? we can convert this into voltage source in series that is after if we convert voltage source source in series we would be getting around 30 volt and 6 ohm then these two would be in parallel so that 6 ohm and 5 ohm would be in series if we convert uh, this in voltage source in series along with this 5 ohm resistor okay then 6 ohm and this 5 ohm would be in series right so we would be left with v by r that is 30 volt divided by 6 plus 5 that is 11 So I is equal to 30 by 11. If we solve it, we would be getting around 2.72 ampere. Okay. So this is the value of current through this 5 ohm resistor. Okay, in the question they have mentioned. So I have solved it. Now also they have told us to write the equivalent Thevenin circuit. Okay. This is the Norton circuit here. Nothing much. Wow. I have written it here, right? This is only the Thevenin circuit here. Okay, that only I am writing it again. Convert this Norton's current into Thevenin's voltage. That is, this would be now voltage source, VTH voltage source, and we know that V is equal to I into R, so five into six. That is equal to thirty volt, and this uh, equivalent impedance. Keep it as it is, six ohm. 
along with that if you want you can write this 5 ohm resistor also so this is our equivalent Thevenin's circuit okay so hope this is clear like this you should be solving this problem so now this is this problem if you have not understand you can comment down so let's solve one more problem now that is uh, this is the second problem so, determine current through 1 ohm resistor connected across AB so this is the 1 ohm resistor connected across AB using Norton's theorem again they have told us to determine the current across this uh, 1 ohm resistor ok so again the first step here is we can simplify this circuit the, what we can do is we can convert this in voltage since this is in uh, uh, current source with parallel and also we have one voltage source here 1 volt so what we can do is we can convert this into uh, voltage source in series that is this would be so direction is downward so this would be minus plus so V is equal to I into R that is I have applied the source transformation here I into R that is 1 into 3 3 volt and this 3 ohm okay then we have this 1 volt like this we know that I have told you right this is uh, just the uh, complex part we can either shift it and write it straight so that's why I am writing this as straight that is uh, how it is minus plus okay then the rest of the circuit part 2 ohm so this is 1 volt 2 ohm so this is 2 ohm and this A and B I am just making short circuit and writing it as a IN because we are applying Norton's theorem and this is the load part I have removed it so hope this is clear okay now we can see that these two are in uh, what to say parallel I have told you right whenever we have these two voltage sources in parallel we can convert it to one single voltage source by adding them okay that is minus plus minus plus so 3 volt and 1 volt we can directly write it as 4 volt in a single branch so that is this would be now 4 volt 3 ohm 2 ohm resistors all of them and then we have Norton current I A, A and B ok like this we have solved but our goal here is to find the uh, Norton's current right I N but for that what we should be doing is again see we are, see here here we have the equivalent impedance we can say that here we it is zero so what we can do is we can reduce this part here that is if you do the equivalent impedance part we will be getting zero right as I have told in my previous problem so again we can reduce this circuit and write it as 4 volt 3 ohm 2 ohm and this full branch would be getting eliminated and here we would be left with 2 ohm like this right so directly now we can find the Norton's current I n again directly so we, we can see that this complete thing is in series here from here to here these three are in series and we have one voltage source so I n would be equal to V by R that is 4 volt divided by 2 plus 3 plus 2 since all these those three are in series right so I n would be equal to 4 divided by 5 7 4 by 7 if we do it approximately we would be getting around check in the calculator 4 by 7 0.57 ampere ok hope this is clear how I have done it like this I have found the Norton current now our goal is to find the equivalent impedance Z equivalent ok the formula is again VOC divided by IN which I have already told how to find VOC I have told you that is this circuit again in this circuit itself or we can consider this circuit in this circuit itself we should be uh, making this open circuit ok I am re rewriting the circuit that is this is uh, 4 volt 3 ohm here we have 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm and here I am making the open circuit part uh, by using the Thevenin theorem uh, which I have already solved one problem similar way so here this would be our VOC voltage ok so this we can consider one loop current as I1 so now what we can do is 
VOC we can directly write it as 2 I1 since from here we should be tracing from down to up so here we have like this and here we have like this those two are opposite so minus into minus would be equal to plus 2 I1 okay hope that is clear now we are, our goal is to find this current I1 right for that we should be applying loop analysis mesh analysis in this loop that is loop I1 start from this 4 volt if you want that is minus 4 then we have minus 2 I1 this is again minus 2 I1 then this is again minus 2 I1 this is minus 3 I1 equal to 0 minus 3 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 that is minus 3 and minus 6 minus 9 minus 4 minus 9 I1 so minus 9 I1 is equal to 4 minus 4 bring it to other side that would be plus 4 I1 is equal to minus 4 by 9 so our I1 value we would be getting around 4 by 9 that is 0 0.44 minus 0 0.44 ampere if we check it okay hope this is clear in this I have applied the loop analysis okay now substitute this in this VOC that is VOC equal to Two into point four four ampere VOC equal to point eight eight four. Okay. Why is this minus sign? I have removed it because we can we know that the equivalent impedance cannot be negative. So that's why this we can say that point four four ampere downward current. Okay. Now this would be equal to point eight eight volt. So substitute that in this Eddy equivalent equation. That is VOC point eight eight divided by Norton current we have got 0.57 okay that is if we divide it 0 0.88 divided by 0 0.57 you would be getting around 1.54 1.54 ohms okay like this we got the Z equivalent and the Norton's current IN now write the Norton's equivalent circuit that is current source IN that is 0 0.57 and the equivalent impedance 1.54 ohms along with the equivalent uh, resistance that is low resistance we have taken in this case it is 1 ohm so that's why this is the Norton circuit they have told us to find the current so that's why what we can do we can do this as a voltage source in series so that is these two should be multiplying that is we would be getting around 0.57 into 1.54 that is 0.87 volt and this resistor 1.54 along with this 1 ohm resistor right these two are in series so 0.87 volt that is the voltage and these two are in series that is 1.54 into 1 that is equal to 2.54 so if we divide 0.87 divide by 2.54 we would be getting around 0.34 ampere okay so this is the current passing through this one ohm resistor using Norton's theorem hope this is clear this problem okay step by step I've tried to solve you hope this problem is clear to you all so that's all for this session guys I've solved uh, two important problems which is very important so please uh, like share subscribe to this and uh, watch our videos regularly so that's all for Thevenin's theorem in the next, uh, sorry, Norton's theorem and Thevenin's theorem I have interlinked and solved uh, uh, for both the theorems simultaneously. So now in the next uh, session we are going to see with one very easy theorem that is Millman's theorem. Okay, let's see in the next session. That's all guys, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.